Hello and welcome to this short video. My name is Tom Rablick. I'm the author of Broads and Ripoffs, and it's great to be with you. One of the things that people get them into trouble with, and the ACCC, the uh, Competition Consumer Commission here in Australia, keeps talking about is online scams. So there are a few things you need to worry about when you are you looking at your email, looking at SMSs, and generally shopping online. The first thing you need to do is don't click on anything that you do not believe has been sent by a legitimate source. Always check it. The tax office uh, doesn't send people emails asking them to update details. There's a lot of tax office scams and other similar scams out and about at the present time. The other thing you need to worry about is SMS scams. There are things that will come in and that seek to capitalise on the fact that you want to clear your messages quickly, you want to move quickly, uh, and we're, we're compulsive as people. There are times you just want to do things quickly. We need to slow down and look at what's come in, who it's probably come from, and also to refrain from responding to everything immediately. Give yourself time to think, because the one thing that scammers really trade off on is the fact that you're going to, you're going to want to hit that button and move very, very quickly through whatever it is you happen to be doing. The other thing you need to be concerned about is the phishing scams that come in via email. Now, phishing scams and even spear phishing, which is a bit more targeted, are essentially attempts to get your details. And those details can be used in different contexts. If you work in a large company and you've got responsibilities that uh, entail some sort of financial control, they may be wanting to try and use that your type, your name, your title, your identity to try and get a junior staffer to commit fraud uh, without even knowing they're doing it. That's called a business uh, email compromise scam. They find a way of getting into your business system, into your business communications and getting people to do things that they otherwise would not by impersonating you or other senior managers in a company. So these are some of the things that you need to watch out for. And one, of the, uh, well, and one of the things you might want to do is actually check out my book, Rules and Rip-Offs from Wilkinson Publishing. The website is www.wilkinsonpublishing.com.au. You can see it on the ticket right below on the screen. Go there and you can buy the book, which deals with a whole range of scams and advisor-related advisor issues. It's been written deliberately to make life easier for people who are struggling to know what to do and are struggling with the online environment. Thanks for watching the video, and I look forward to talking with you again.